Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we got breaking news. Breaking news. There has been a massive solar flare that has just released from the sun. Now, the uh, um, um, a suspicious observer uh, is saying that, uh, that the solar flare is about uh, X 1.5. Uh, BP Earthwatch has just reported that it's actually a 2.2, an X-Class 2.2. This is a major solar flare. I mean, it's massive. Now, the good news is it was a side shot, uh, not directly facing the Earth. It was more at a side. But any time that you are able to visualize one of these solar flares, some of it does affect the Earth. There's no question. According to Suspicious Observer, it is affecting radio frequencies in Africa. Uh, and that is definitely going to affect some of those radio frequencies and, and probably uh, radio blackouts in portions of Africa. Uh, so we know that this is a major solar flare. There's no question about it. Now, spaceweather.com, NASA actually was predicting there was a high probably not a high probability, a 35% chance of at least an M-class solar flare today. But I don't think they were expecting an X-class 2.2. So a very large solar flare. Now, we still have to wait and see. We do not know what the CME, um, of total CME effect is going to be upon the Earth from this solar flare. And there's a lot more uh, sunspots that are um, definitely of, uh, potentially have the ability to produce solar flares and or significant CME toward the Earth. We've got sunspot 2077. 2084, 2079, 2082, 2080, 2085, and 2087, which are all visible. Um, the question is going to be, with this much activity on the sun, and with this, this release of this 2.2 X-class solar flare, the question is going to be, what is going to be the overall pressure and effect upon the tectonic plates of the Earth? What will be the pressure on that? I mean, we're very vulnerable right now. Anyway, there's been a lot of energy building up anyway, and so the last thing we need, I mean, we just had an asteroid go by. The beast, what NASA called the beast, a, a 1,083-meter diameter asteroid went by on day of Pentecost. Just so happened on the day of Pentecost, a meteor, an asteroid, excuse me, an asteroid, close, close, um, was went by fairly close to the Earth, I think 777,000 miles from the Earth, and it uh, was called the Beast. What was ironic about these signs that are going on in the sun, the moon, and the stars, is that asteroid, the Beast, went by the Earth while the Vatican was having their interface service where uh, the Pope and uh, the President of Israel, uh, Shimon Peres, and the Palestinian President, Mahmoud Abbas, and several uh, Muslim imams and um, Jewish rabbis and uh, lots of Catholic cardinals and everybody was all in the Vatican trying to have this inner faith service, reading from the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Quran, speaking in Latin and in English and in Hebrew and in Arabic, and trying to somehow pull together this this. It was a state of confusion, is what it was. And so what we're seeing is as we're spiritually being led into a spirit of confusion here on this planet with this all-inclusiveness and interfaith dialogue while this is going on, which is all this is, is the formation. This is the beginning of the formation of a one-world religion, which will be in operation during the mark of the beast, during the rise of the beast, during the, anti, the rise of the Antichrist and the rise of the false prophet. But we're also going to see signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity. The sea, the waves are roaring. There is all, there's more fighting going on now in Ukraine. I've already been talking this morning about the, the, the second attack on the airport in Pakistan. There's been attacks and murdering and, and fighting going on in Nineveh, in Iraq. Uh, which is a biblical city, of course, because Jonah went and preached to Nineveh. 
I mean, we've got uh, all kinds of things happening all over Afghanistan, and uh, it just doesn't stop. So we'll continue to monitor what's going on. Uh, but it's, it's unbelievable that Luke chapter 21, verse 25, let me just read to you because it says there'll be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the stress of nations. Listen to this scripture. This is Luke 21, verses 25 uh, through 28. Listen to the scripture. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity or confusion, the sea and the waves roaring, uh, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And so we are seeing these biblical signs taking place right now on the earth, in the sun, in the stars, on the moon, asteroids, meteorites, perplexion and confusion, wars and rumors of wars. The love of many is waxing cold. They're calling evil good and good evil. It's all happening simultaneously uh, for instance the National Washington National Cathedral is going to have their first ever transgendered per, uh, uh, Episcopalian priest is going to speak and it's the first time ever that a, trans, that a transgendered priest is going to speak at the uh, Washington National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., the General Convention of Episcopalians Church. And so, um, you know what, it just keeps going on and on and on. These are all part of this end time signs that Jesus said would come up on the earth. I'll be right back with more current world events and how it relates to Bible prophecy. But right now, guys, this M. Cla excuse me, X class 2.2, a major solar flare has erupted just a few minutes ago on the sun. I'll be right back with more current world events. God bless.